This is the solution to written homework 68. So, <laughs> as it turns out, written homework 68 is a broken uh, exercise. I sh shouldn't have uh, given it as, as written, uh, for Math 1326 anyway. So, for Part B, Part B is pretty easy, actually. Uh, you have y between two values, so that would be 2 is less or equal to y is less or equal to 6, and then uh, if you're in between those two values, then you first hit this one and then that one. So that means that uh, 2y is less or equal to x is less or equal to 4y. So b is uh, really pretty straightforward. <coughs> uh, part a is more complicated, uh, unintentionally complicated. So what we need is to get the x between two uh, vertical lines. So this is the leftmost vertical line, and this is the rightmost vertical line. <clears throat> so we need to figure out uh, those coordinates. So this is at y is 2 and x is 2y. So this here would be at x is 4. And this is uh, y is 6 and x is 4y. So that would be x is 24. So the x, the constant x bounds are 4 less or equal x, less or equal 24. And now, uh, here's the complication, is that anywhere in between uh, these two, you always start at this red, You always start on the red part, and you always end on the green part. So really, uh, if we could if we could name the red uh, y is g of x. If we come up with a red function y is g of x and a green function y is f of x, uh, then we could say that g of x is less or equal to y is less or equal to f of x. However, um, <clears throat> this turned out to be, finding a formula for g of x and f of x turned out to be <laughs> more complicated than I uh, had imagined it to be. But since I assigned the, the exercise, I'll go ahead and do it. So this position right here, that's when uh, y is 2 and x is 4y. So this is at x is 8. And this position right here is when y is 6 and x is 2y. So this is at 12. OK. So for g of x, we can see that g of x must, be, must consist of two lines. 
So in between 4 and 8, uh, the output is 2. So it'll be 2 if uh, 4 is less or equal to x is less or equal to 8. And then since this is x is 4y, solving for y, we'd have x over 4. So it would be x over 4. <coughs> Uh, if x is between 8 and 24. That's for g of x. For f of x, <clears throat> uh, for f of x, it again, it also consists of two lines. So this first line is y is x over 2. And that's between the x values 4 and 12. And uh, <clears throat> between 12 and 24, it's just 6. So f and g had to be piecewise defined functions, and that was more complicated than I had originally intended.